So this is research in motion. We're looking at our Jesus list, and it's amazing because I'm seeing these things for the first time. Joggler equals Jesus. This is so cool. God's humor is mind-blowing. And think of the health factor. This is, this is the real truth and the real glory of God, okay? A joggler is someone who juggles while jogging. And they're all over YouTube, and they're all over Google image search. And it's very healthy for you. It's healthy for you to jog, but then jogging while juggling is even healthier because now you're doing all this mental activity and the, impressing the angels and you know, all this cool dexterity. Okay, so, but joggler equals Jesus equals great I am in order equals God, son in symmetry. Bang. God's humor and God's pleasure. So, on the liberty, you are allowed to do like just about anything that you feel like doing. If it's the honest you, please do it because we need to see more of the glory of God. You know, that's why everyone's unique and that's why we have jogglers running around in marathons throwing balls while they run. Because they feel like it, because God made them that way. So if it's the honest you, if you're, if you're a Christian, if you've confessed that Jesus Christ is God and you can just feel that you just, like you just have to do something, you just wanna do something, and it's the honest you, then go ahead, please do it. Even if you think it's weird, please do it. Because we need to see jogglers to make us happy, to inspire us all to get in shape and make us laugh and joggler equals Jesus. That's my new favorite gem. So, and then juridic, I didn't know what that word meant until I looked it up. So juridic equals Jesus. Juridic Jesus, okay? Um, as in, some juridic referring to the administration of justice. Sounds like Jesus, doesn't it? The judge of the earth. Juridic Jesus. And then Joey's refer to children or, um, you know, kangaroos. And so I'm going through, so this is real time research, okay? But I record these things because it's the first time I'm seeing this. So um, I'm learning new words. That's how you go, okay? Uh, show me your words, I'll show you your future. Hallelujah. Okay, so. Um, do, 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 So we're looking at um, a list of words that equals Jesus. I'm looking at the I's. I just looked at the J's because I was irresistible. J, J. So juridic, Jesus. Joggler. I love fun ones because I am a humorist. I am a laughter lover. I love the screaming creativity of God. Once I get through, once I get through with the serious stuff and like... You got you got to repent and you got to convert you got to confess that Jesus Christ is God. Just watch out at how creative God is through His children. Like it's just it's tear jerkingly funny half the time, and it should be okay. So illicit. Um, all right. So see, this is where you need you bring Holy Ghost discernment uh, with you in all these, because obviously there's words that equal Jesus that you don't promote as behavior. You know. Um, do, 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 do. Now this, you can, it's, it's interesting to me, um, because you can, you can make very interesting cases for a lot of these words. For example, I'm looking at the word illicit, which means illegal. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. It's like, for the most part, just about every law that exists is right for you to follow. But there are times, okay, like in the days of the book of Acts where they had to rebel against the authority in order to serve the name of Jesus. Obviously, you have the Holy Spirit. You have wisdom, okay? <laughs> it's like, but let's let's move on to more important words than that for now. Impale. Um, I like that word, joggler. It's a fun one. To impel is to drive on. So you could say um, Jesus impels. I'm just looking at the fact that impels equals Jesus, and I'm exercising discernment. 
but that that's what this research is like okay that's this, this is real research this is the time remember research equals Christ and science equals father um, but that's the um, this is the kind of patience and scrutiny and Holy Ghost discernment that this work requires okay it takes a huge amount of time but it's worth it um, okay, so imp So to impel, kind of like compel, is to drive on. I like that. And compel just goes nine points higher than impel. I love this. The Bi this is a good one, see? Perfect. The Bible says the love of Christ compels us. I feel compelled to talk about Jesus. I feel compelled to share what I know. I feel compelled to speak this truth. I feel compelled to turn on the video camera and record what I'm seeing. Um, so the word impel is a synonym for compel. Okay. But which one do you like the sound of better? You know, I feel, I like, I almost like impel better because it sounds like you're being um, led from within. I am impelled. <laughs> Okay, so Jesus impels, and slow down, yeah, I have to admit, the word impels mathematically is flawless for J-E-S-U-S, -S. flawless letters, flawless, beautiful, just beautiful in fact, stunning, in fact impels couldn't be any more stunning for J-E-S-U-S, S-E-S-U-S. Letters that divide by three equal U, beautiful, P, six from the P, six from the J, M, six from the S. Jesus impels. That, that's a book title, that's a message all its own. Jesus impels. You say, Derek, what makes you do what you do? Why, you know, who, who spurs us on? What name pushes us forward? Jesus impels. That's a cool word. It's, and once you do the math on it, you, you, you have to bring these words back. Because these words are like the hidden, forgotten powerhouses in the artillery of God. These, when you start speaking these words and you reveal this revelation to yourself and to others, you're, you're pulling spiritual waters out of the treasure house of God that have not been pulled out for years. I've never heard this word impels in my life. And I'm 36 years old. <laughs> Jesus impels. First time I'm seeing this. Well, can you imagine if babies were taught this information from grade, grade zero? Jesus impels. They'd be like saints from day one. Um, so Jesus impels. I gotta, I gotta chew on this one. Jesus impels. I feel impelled by Jesus. Jesus impels me. Man, you pull out this verbiage in a courtroom in front of Congress, they won't even know why they are taken aback and shocked by what you're saying. They'll be like, that guy just said something that just struck me as so powerful, I can't even figure out why. You just say, Jesus impels us. And they'll just be like, Ooh, that was a strangely good choice of verbiage. I, I never even heard that word impel. You know, the congressman will be like secretly like Googling the word impels. And they'll just be like, oh, it's like compel. But it's like sounded more epic. And you're just like, say that to me one more time. Jesus impels me. Ooh, I can feel the Holy Ghost. Jesus impels me. That's a good word. I like, it sounds better than compels, because compels sounds to me like something is from outside of you is pushing you. Jesus impels me. Jesus is inside of me coming out. Man, I'm getting high on this one. <laughs> Jesus impels. Jesus impels. Say it. Once you know that you have a mathematical ordained perfection fest from God, just start saying it. And you're, you're feeding yourself. Jesus impels. Jesus impels. Jesus impels. Jesus impels. Jesus Jesus impels. It's like Jesus pushes. Jesus empowers from within. Jesus impels. 
Jesus impels. So, um, yeah, I can easily see the God's Son. Um, I'll bet you you can see the Great I Am with a little bit of homework. There, I learned a new word today. At the age of 36, I did not know what the word impel meant, and I certainly didn't know that impels equals Jesus. Thank you, Derek, for educating yourself. Thank you, Jesus, for educating me. He lives inside. Okay, so impels. Um, yeah, amazing. Okay, so, Jesus, they're going to sing songs about this stuff. Jesus impels, this I know, for the scripture and dictionary tell me so. Okay, Jesus impels. Jesus impels. I feel impelled. I love it. Jesus impels. Jesus impels. I, I testify by God Almighty. There are some words that just sound so good. You can't let go of them. You, you can't let go of them. Jesus impels. You say that in public and we'll just be like, people will be like, they don't even know why, but the spiritual light, the spiritual foreordained, I'm, I'm pulling out words that haven't been used by men for years, decades. Most people have never used this word in their life, but you start using these words. And the entire spiritual realm will just like erupt with praise to the Lord. Jesus impels. Jesus impels. And people will just be like, that just lit me on fire. And I don't know why, but I don't care. But it just sounded like heaven. Jesus impels. Jesus impels. Jesus impels. If you can't do it yet, just start saying it. If you don't have the strength to love someone yet, just start saying it. If you don't have the strength to go anywhere yet, just start saying it. If you don't have strength to think anything, just start saying it. If you don't have strength to obey the commands, just start reading them. Just start reading them. Just start saying it. Just start saying it. Just start saying it. And eventually, you will be big enough and strong enough spiritually to lift 400 pounds. And you'll be loving the hardest to love creatures in the history of the universe. You'll be sacrificing for your wife. You'll be like laying down your life for other people. You'll be dying on... Anyways. Um, <laughs> actually, you'll probably be loving yourself more than anything. Uh, first, got to take care of yourself. But impels equals Jesus. I feel impelled by the Lord. Thank God for this word, impels. It's been a long time. I'm dusting off the artillery that's been sitting in the closet of humanity. It's been sitting in there. No one's even seen these. So Jesus impels. Jesus impels. Jesus impels. Jesus impels. Just, just say that all day long. And you will have power. To, to behave like Christ. Just because you're feeding on the word of the Lord. Just Jesus impels. Like if you're feeling weak at the end of the day, just say Jesus impels. And you'll just have demons fall off you. You'll have people like work for you. You'll have miracles happen just because you've spoken the word of the Lord. Jesus impels. Jesus impels. It sounds like empowers. It's Jesus impels. Wouldn't you love to be impelled in life? Jesus on the inside. Okay, so, you know, it's, it's, it's not intel inside, it's Jesus inside. Intel is ordained by God, though, because intel equals word. Okay, equals, okay, so, 7-11 um, a.m. on May 1st, 2018. So, impels, Jesus impels. I love it, okay. So, I have a new word to learn here. This is what this research looks like. Implacable. 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 Talk to me, Google. Implacable. Implacable. Thank you for sharing with us. Um, okay, so this is where you use discernment, okay? Because, you know, just because it equals Jesus doesn't mean, you know, you have to get the flavor of this word and you have to use this word properly. You know, words are like firepower. You can't just explode them in any which way. It's like... How are you going to use this word? 
Um, so implacable. 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 Um, so it's not placable. So it comes from the Latin word placare, which means appease. So it's kind of like this person is determined. Determined. It's kind of like unstoppable. Um, now Jesus is the most forgiving person in the universe. Um, but um, he's also certainly the most... This is an amazing word. He's also certainly the most unstoppable and relentless person together with Father God. This is a very interesting word, implacable. Mr. Implacable, tell us about yourself. What do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> You're a very interesting word. What do you really have to say? Who are you? What do you really have to say for yourself? Anyways, um, <laughs> implacable. Implacable. So, I like unstoppable, relentless. Now, when Jesus comes back and he makes his final judgments, uh, you know, that's... Yeah. It's, it, it, it seems like it has, typically it has a more negative connotation. So, I'd be careful um, on this one. See? Discernment. It's like, you gotta take your time. Um, Alright. Implode. Okay. Another example of... Yeah, exactly. Just because a word equals Jesus, that doesn't mean Jesus wants you to follow that like we know that that's why you bring the holy that's why the holy ghost is with you in this exercise like the word indecent it's like we know it's like you know exactly what, what you know jesus thinks of a lot of these things but that's why you use holy ghost discernment for all this um now in in the sort of you know, more ancient sense of the word, or, you know, um, Jesus did do things that were indecent, so to speak. Like, Jesus made a whip of cords and physically, you know, drove the merchants out of the temple, the house of God. In that day and age, that was considered indecent. You know, that was, in the eyes of the sinners, that was indecent. Anyways, I don't want to, let's keep going, okay? We know there's more endowed. In, in That's interesting. Endowed, I know. What's well, an archaic form of endow? To endow someone. Endowed. Mm hmm. Endowed by Jesus. Okay. Inducer. This is a cool word. In biology, an inducer is a molecule that regulates gene expression. Interesting. See, this is, um, again, the inducer.
Yeah, to cause. Uh, what's irresistible about this word inducer uh, is that it's got the, the I am front and back, two famous I am's, great I am, great I am, okay? So Jesus is the great inducer. That is to say, he causes um, things to happen. Now I'm jumping over to biology here, and I'm curious if there's a father partner to this inducer. An inducer is a um, molecule that regulates gene expression. Inducer can bind to protein repressors. Interesting. Oh, well, there's a perfect example. Repressor would be repressor, parallel's father, would combine with inducer. Okay, yeah. Interesting. So here's an example of, yeah, repressor, parallel's father, inducer. The gene is expressed because an inducer binds to the repressor. The binding of the inducer to the repressor prevents the repressor from binding to the operator. Interesting. Ay, ay, ay. And then an inducer also binds to an activator, which also parallels father. Cool. So here's a perfect, so inducer equals Jesus, activator goes to father. So once the activator binds to an inducer and the complex binds to the activation and activates target gene, removing the inducer, that is to say removing the Jesus, the great I am, stops transcription. And then you have induction. Induction, great father. I'd love to see a picture of this. Mm, the inducer. Okay. Oh, I see. Man, there's so many, excuse me. Fascinating. So, high level. An inducer, this is all related to genes and DNA. An inducer can bind to a repressor or an activator. Um, an activator, the word activator goes to father, the word repressor goes to father, and then inducer is glaringly Jesus. So that's the hunt that I was and we know protein is glaringly father. Um, where do they promote RNA transcription? So the inducer in the lack of these lactose is present in the medium. Okay. So, simply put, an inducer can bind. So, inducer equals Jesus. It binds. Remember, this is so cool because Jesus is one with the Father. So, an inducer binds. An induce, inducer equals Jesus. Binds to. All of these words parallel Father. Protein, repressor, activator. I like the word activator because... God the Father is the ultimate activator. <laughs> Man, this is deep, as always. Um, for example, um, I can use the computer to find all instances of 58 Father. Oh, 
Oh, and by the way, gene, the word gene is just perfect for father. And then you talk about gene expression. Um, yeah, and then gene expression will continue the party for father perfectly. So this is the kind of glory that I'm talking about. The word gene fits perfectly into father. G parallels A, and then the 3 plus 2 is right next door. Gene, just like a slot, just, you know, like those word-working guys, they just slot in. Gene, right in the center of father. Gene, and then expression divides by 3 with a perfect balance of plus 2s and plus 1s. So gene expression is a flawless string construct for father. Name of all names, the name of this YouTube channel, which is why this YouTube channel is going to last and prosper in the history books because it's glorifying Father, name above all names. So, and whenever you do for Father, it just prospers. It just, even if other people do this after I'm gone. Was, so, um, okay. So this, so this is a big gem, so. Okay, so this just got a whole lot bigger. So, gene, Father, gene expression, perfect for Father. Um, so we were in the process of, I love science, which equals father. So we're finding, yeah, so there's our instances of 58 and activator. It's, uh, okay, a father plus uh, 51. So activator is great father. Very nice. Um... There's lots to learn with God. Okay. Um. <laughs> Amazing. And then, that's amazing, so the inducer. Okay, so there you go. So high level, um, I can, we can do more DNA stuff later, but there you go, so high level. Inducer is Jesus binds to an activator or repressor, which is father. So there's the relationship there. Okay. Infuse. Yeah. Jesus infuse. That's a big one. Ingest. Yeah. <laughs> ingest. That's good. Oh, yeah. This is a good one. So ingest equals Jesus equals fruit. What was the first item that mankind ever ingested? <laughs> Piece of fruit. <laughs> what should you ingest? <laughs> well, clearly, fruit. <laughs> 
ingest equals Jesus equals fruit. Like this is this is food 101. This is the Garden of Eden. Have you ever asked yourself what the first food man ever shoved in his mouth was? Probably a banana. <laughs> or an apple. Or an orange. I'm... <laughs> It, it, in, in the sovereignty of God, I'll bet you it was something that um, didn't even require peeling. That it was probably Adam literally just plucked it off the tree and sunk his teeth into it. Just no peel required. He just, it was probably some apple or pear or something. Um, so this is a big one. People saying, what should we eat? Well, eat equals God, ingest equals Jesus. Um, but ingest equals fruit. So, ingest equals fruit. <laughs> now I'm slowing down on how ingest lines up with fruit. Yeah, there's your God's son. Very strong, the God's son in ingest. N-G-E, English. Yeah, God's son. And then with the word sit is a strong son because stand equals father. So ingest is glaring. That's a very strong one for Jesus. That's a very strong word worth promoting. People saying, what should we ingest? Well, ingest equals Jesus. You need to have Jesus living inside of you in order to have power to ingest the right foods. Okay. Um, and then fruit equals Jesus. And that was, the, so ingest fruit. Ingest fruit. Ingest Jesus. Ingest Jesus. That's a good one. Flawless letters. Ingest Jesus. Okay. Ingest Jesus. Ingest fruit. In great inhaling. You're always inhaling Jesus. Inhumed initial. I love that. Um, oh yeah, we, would you sign here? I remember that one. Would you sign here? Would you initial here? The word sign goes to Father, the word initial goes to Jesus. Again, Jesus being sort of the, the lesser than, the supporting cast compared to Father. And here. Okay, I'm almost there. Alright, that's good for now.